Hey y'all, it's Lippy. This is gonna be a short video. Yes, cause it doesn't require but like 15 minutes, right, of prepping. But let me give y'all a little back history. There's a Canadian lady named Miss Jan, okay? And she gonna call Lippy out on a chow chow. Well, she kind of didn't, but she kind of did. So it's been a running joke for two weeks about who can make the best chow chow. So I, a couple of days ago, I said, yeah, we're gonna do a collaboration. And then I got to thinking we can't do that. Some gardens are just now getting started. Some have gone out, mine's halfway going out for me to replant. So I said, why don't we just, you know, do a Miss Jan at Not A Real Farm yeah, she fudges. She got a really nice uh, farm. Or garden, or high tunnel, or outside high tunnel. She got it going on, y'all, okay? I'll put her um, channel in the description. But anyway, I said, well, we're just gonna keep between her and I, I guess, because I had to get these tomatoes cut up. I did not want them turning on me, because if y'all remember, I took out six tomato plants Friday. Today's Monday. So I knew I had everything I needed for my chow chow. So I'm going to go ahead and get mine going. That's why the video is going to be short if I don't quit rambling um, because it's 24 hours before you ever make it. Yes, I know y'all get tired of Lippy putting things up, fermenting, waiting 24 hours. But y'all, what did I tell y'all? Patience. Patience gives you the best results promise. But anyway, about this recipe, this is not my recipe. In 1989, Miss Nancy Abair, to me, in my opinion, made the best chow chow. Now, my dad did, my mom, uh, man Hazel did, but nobody could touch Nancy Abair's. And so I said, Miss Nancy, can you teach me? She said, sure. So the only thing I've changed is I've added more pepper and I've added some banana peppers. I've added more jalapenos. I'm trying to think. That's about it. You know, I just added a little bit more flavor, okay? But I didn't change the recipe at all. So I'd asked her one day when she was teaching me, I said, so where does chow chow come from? And she was a Cajun lady. And she said, chow chow is what the farmers used to cull they're bad. In other words, if you had a couple of spotty green tomatoes, you just put them, you know, in ice, put them in the refrigerator, and then you'd build up a stock. If your cabbage had some blemishes, you'd cut the blemish off, but you couldn't take that to the market. You couldn't sell it. So she said Chow Chow was actually started in Nova Scotia, brought to Louisiana, and she was probably... 75 at that time in 89. And she said as a little girl, that was her job to go out and take all the bad vegetables and then they would make chow chow. So that's all I know about chow chow. It makes sense to me. Hope it makes sense to you. But we're fixing to get it going. I've already prepped everything to speed this up, okay? And then tomorrow, we'll actually process it and get it jarred up. Mine sits for 24 hours. So I'm going to turn you around, show you what I used to chop it, which was a food processor, and what I'm about to do to it, and then I'm going to walk away for 24 hours. That gives you time to gather up your vegetables as well. Here's the gadget that I used, the food processor. So you're going to have to have a food processor if you want to accomplish the right texture that you're looking for. Okay, here's our famous jar. Now, this is gonna be a double batch. So when I give you the ingredients, you can cut this in half, but I'm doing a double batch. So to this jar is eight cups of finely diced cabbage, eight cups tomatoes, green tomatoes, eight cups of mixed bell pepper, green, red, yellow, orange, finely diced, two cups jalapenos, two cups banana peppers, 
eight cups of sweet yellow onion, but I'll have this in the description. Can y'all see this? Finely, finely diced. Now to this, I'm gonna add a cup of pickling salt, and I'm fixing to mix it very well with my hand. I mixed it very well, and then I topped it with ice cubes. I covered the entire top of the jar with ice cubes. We're gonna put the lid on and walk away for 24 hours. I told you <laughs> it was gonna be short. I didn't want y'all to have to sit there and watch me push button, push button, push button. But y'all, this is just so, so simple. So as you go out to the garden and you see green tomatoes, they may have a blemish, chunk them in your refrigerator. Um, you can make this chow chow. Now, let me say this. Omit the jalapenos if you want to. You can omit the banana peppers if you want to. See, the, the beauty of a chow chow is as long as you have your base, green tomatoes, the cabbage, the onions, and the bell pepper. Then everything else is a lanyap. You add it to for flavor. Don't add cucumbers, guys. They will get soggy. It will mess your chow chow. But the main ingredients is those four. Cabbage, green tomatoes, bell peppers, and onions. But I always add banana peppers and jalapenos. And since those jalapenos ain't doing so good, now, they probably pack in some heat, but that's okay because I'm going to taste it tomorrow after I rinse it before we start making that brine. And I'll be able to tell if I need to write chow chow on there or hot chow chow. And then I hope to be able to get more green tomatoes from the farmer's market and I'm going to make another batch. So, it's time for coffee. I got to get some chicken thawing. This is Miss Lippy's short video. So that makes y'all have to come back tomorrow to watch me cook it, right? Mm-hmm. I ought to be ashamed of myself. <laughs>